Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Lucy, welcome. And today I'm going to do a little battle of the lipsticks. Um, I basically picked, um, hang on a second. Um, I basically picked out all the colors that I have that are very, very similar ish similar ish purplies and i thought i would just sort of give you my thoughts on them and um yeah so what it is is what it is is i don't know um my eye is always drawn to this sort of like pinky purpley shade whenever i am buying a lipstick um and so i tend to have like quite a few of the same so i thought i would just give you a little rundown and let you know which is my favorite so here we have the color pop which is this dark one in the middle um, and that is bejeweled we have um jeffree star's you better work which i have on my lips and it is this one um, bit of controversial this is my only Kat Von D lipstick and I bought it because it was in the sale um, and this is LUV um, and it's this one here um, then we have um, Lime Crime Utopia which is this one up here um, then we have Caked, which I believe it is now called Half Caked, and that's Jelly, which is this one in the middle. And then last but not least is this Melted Matte by Too Faced, and this is the um, Tropical Punch, but I don't think you can get this one anymore, which is why I, I'm not really going to talk about it, but I just wanted to swatch it. It's a little bit pinker than the others, but it's still sort of a dupe. But I don't think you can get this one anymore because this is the um, candy. There's a really weird noise coming outside. Um, this is the candy. It's a dustbin, man. Sorry. Um, this was the Candy Johnson um, collaboration. So I don't think you can get this one anymore. This one, however, um, I do want to try some more melted mats because I do like this formula. It stays on all day. Um, you can eat with it. You can drink with it, and it goes nowhere. Um, but I don't think you can get this colour anymore, so I've second thoughts, I don't think I should talk about it that much, but I do like it. So, um, here we go. So, out of the, um, lipsticks I've just shown you, we've got Jeffree Star, Colourpop, Kat Von D, um, Half Caked, and Lime Crime. Which one do you think I'm going to say is my favourite? Hmm. I think you might be surprised. You might be surprised. Okay, so let's get down to it. So I'll go with the one that's just a little bit out of the colour family. The colour pop one to begin with. Um, I don't I have three colour pop lipsticks in my collection. I have just done a colour pop um order. I um I'm a little bit scared about how much the custom fees are going to charge me, but I thought it would be interesting to see because I've never actually ordered from Colourpop themselves. Anyway, so this one is called Bejeweled. Um, Colourpop are quite um, well known. They're quite a good brand. They're very affordable, um, but they don't have any UK stockists that I know of, um, so it can be quite difficult to get a hold of. I was very lucky enough to get some genuine ones from eBay. I don't recommend um, actually buying makeup like that from eBay, but I, I just had to because um, I wanted to try them. And if they were fake, then they were going to be fake. Um, but yeah, so I have three of them. Overall, I do like the formula of Colourpop liquid lipsticks. Um, yeah, I like it. It's not like something that is... I think is amazing um doesn't like stay on your lips for super super long it can be a little bit drying and i have dry lips anyway so quite a few of my lipsticks are quite drying um but yeah it's a good lipstick nonetheless 
Next one we'll talk about is Jeffree Star. This is You Better Work. Um, I think this is famously like his worst lipstick formula, apparently. Um, it's not drying on the lips, it's quite comfortable, but I do know it's there, if you see what I mean. Um, it does, does transfer, um, whereas most of his lipsticks don't. Um, I don't usually wear this quite a lot. Um, I wouldn't wear it if I was eating out at a restaurant um, because it would just end up all over my face. The rest of his lipsticks are fine. I think it's purples. I think purples are quite difficult. Um, but you know I love Jeffree Star. But I'm not afraid to say when his products are rubbish. Or I can't work with them. It's not that they're rubbish. It's just that I'm not a very good person when it comes to makeup. But I have a makeup channel. So it's all good. The next one is Kat Von D. I've only worn this once I think. And like I say I bought it because it was in the sale. When I say it was in the sale, it was more than half price off because obviously of the controversies. I don't think her brand is doing very well. Um, and I was just perusing. I was actually looking for Too Faced products um, on the Debenhams website. If you can't, if you don't know where to get Kat Von D um, her, in England, it's Debenhams. Um, and this was like really, really cheap. Um, and as always, this colour is the one that catches my eye. Um, I think it was between this one and Bambi, but I think Bambi was like full price. Anyways, um, so far I think it's a really good formula. Um, the wand is quite long though, um, compared to what I'm sort of used to. So I did find application a bit kooky, a bit weird, um, but obviously you just need to get used to it. Um, the formula was really nice. It did stay on for quite a while. It was a little bit drying. Um which wasn't the best but it's a great color so the next one is lime crime this is in utopia um i had my eye on you this this color for like years and years and then again it was on sale so i went ahead and bought it um you can get lime crime if you're in the uk from um where can you get it from beauty bay um however lime crime do you actually pay the cut well they didn't pay it for you they they sort of put it in the overall total on your bill so you don't get stung when it comes over you know exactly you've already paid it so that's all good this formula is lovely um in fact this was the actual lipstick when i was like a couple of years ago that sort of got me into this colour story family. So um, yeah, I'm just, I'm quite glad that I've just got it in my collection now. Um, I do like the formula. Again, I find it a little bit dry. I think it might just be my lips, you know, but it's all good. And the last one is Kate or Half Kate. Um, this is Jelly. This is the lip fondant, Kate lip fondant. Um, you can get Kate from Makeup Without Malice if you're in the UK. Um, I'm not sure if they've got any other UK stockists. Um, this formula to me is everything. Um, and this is why I've saved it till last because this one is my favourite. Um, it's super, super pigmented. Very, very opaque. Um, the doe foot is not too long, not too short, nice big thick handle, um, I do love a good thick handle, um, and yeah, the doe foot's just lovely, I'm, I haven't, there we go, that looks a bit tidier, yeah. um, the doe foot is just lovely and not too thick, not too thin, you've got the lovely little point at the top, um, so that you can sort of go round and then fill it all in, um, not drying, um, doesn't transfer, um, you can eat and drink with it as long as it's not like super oily food and it doesn't end up all over your face. Um, very affordable, I, oh, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was like £12. I want to say £12, but then I might be wrong, so maybe I should just not say anything at all. Um, so yes. Those are my opinions on my favourite colour story lipsticks and um, Half Kate, Kate is is the winner for me. Um, I thought you would all choose Jeffree Star or say that I would choose Jeffree Star. So um, 
yeah this is this is the one for me um i will definitely check out the comments let me know down in the comments below what your favorite lipstick is what your favorite lipstick brand is um i love trying new things what do you think of my eyeshadow today guys this is um the london copyright the palace um palette i've just tried it out for the first time and i love it this palette was like 15 pounds um let me know if you want me to do a video on it i have done a video on the on one of the london copyright palettes before if you're interested definitely check it out um it should be somewhere down below um and as ever guys i'll see you soon for another video bye